What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, man, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. Coming in hot, man. Got some good stuff going on, man. And usually, when we come up on WrestleMania and stuff like that, the rumor mill and stuff like that tends to get pretty hot, man. So I'm pretty excited today as we dive into some brand new WWE Elite action figure news and just break down some different stuff for you guys. Now, we're, today, we are talking about WWE Elite Series 111. As we know, we know all of the figures up to WWE Elite 110 at this point, but it does look like WWE Elite Elite 111 could be known as well. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Let's get into what WWE Elite 111 the lineup looks like, and then I'll discuss what figures and attires I think it's going to be, and then we'll dive into all that stuff. But of course, I think all the names on this list actually do make sense, and I'll kind of dive into all that and why I think this could be true and all these things, man. So let's shut the hell up, dive into it. WWE Elite 111, let's start it off, man. Starting out first, the first figure that is going to be in WWE Elite Series 111 is going to be Cody Rhodes, man. Cody Rhodes making another return to the Elite line here. So it doesn't really shock me, man. Cody is on one of the hottest runs you'll you'll see, man. He is super over with everybody. It seems like he is sort of the face of the company at this point, and he is making huge waves here. So Cody Rhodes being an elite 111 doesn't shock me whatsoever. And being a huge Cody guy, I definitely I, I'm good with this. I don't mind this whatsoever, man. And what's interesting is we do know that he's actually coming in WWE Elite 109 as well, and we know he's coming in WWE Ultimate Edition Series 21, which is the series following this Series 20 featuring Undertaker, Roman Reigns, and Asuka. And we do know that, again, he is coming next series, and it is believed to be that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are going to be the Ultimate Editions next to him. That hasn't been officially announced just yet, besides the Cody Rhodes. However, it's pretty much all but confirmed at this point, and I do believe here soon we are going to find that out officially. And I think we're going to see those figures on display at WrestleMania in Philadelphia for WrestleMania reveals and whatnot, man. So I can't wait to go there as well for that. That's going to be insane. Of course, we're going to do all the coverage and whatnot, but Cody Rhodes getting a figure here, man, doesn't, you know, it doesn't shock me. I think that the attire, as far as the attire is concerned, there's multiple figures it could be. Of course, we have our torn pet Cody. We know that we got his first match return at WrestleMania 38. We know we're getting his WrestleMania 39 gear. And him being an Elite 109 and Elite 111, that tells me that one of those gears is going to be the Royal Rumble gear. Now, I would guess that WWE Elite Series 109 would be his Royal Rumble win from last year, not this past year, but 2023. And then I would think that 111, it could be a, a, a few different attires there. It could be a Backlash versus Brock Lesnar. It could be SummerSlam versus Brock Lesnar. Maybe it's going to come with a little arm cast or something like that potentially or the gold gear it could be his other gear I think it wasn't it like Brock Lesnar's last matchup at SummerSlam I think it was so there's different things there's different things there that it could be man but I'm all for Cody Rhodes figures they they look fantastic there's great sculpts you know they got to get that weight belt out there as well that comes with that ultimate edition so hopefully well it'll just be a great figure man but his figures puzzle around so well I'm all down for another Cody Rhodes figure man let's dive into the next one man next up in the series is going to be Finn Balor now this actually gives me a bunch of different things going on with this and I'll kind of dive into the lore here, man. So as we know, one of my highly requested figures this year is going to be a WrestleMania 39 Demon Finn Balor with his matchup from Edge. Now, could this be a Demon Finn Balor? It absolutely could. This could absolutely be a Demon Finn Balor from WrestleMania 39. I'm really praying that we get that in Ultimate Edition form because I think they could really do it justice. Give us an updated Demon Finn Balor. We haven't seen a Demon Finn Balor since Series 3 in the Ultimate Edition line. It desperately needs an, an upgrade, really. So there's so many different things going on there with getting a new Demon Ultimate Edition. But I'm going to tell you right now, man, if this is an Elite Demon from WrestleMania 39 in Elite 111, it is going to heavily disappoint me. And the reason I say it's going to heavily disappoint me is because I don't know if you guys remember this, but remember back in Elite Series 98 when they gave us the Demon Finn Balor? And it was, I was so excited for a Demon Finn Balor, then they release it, and it turns out they gave him the Daniel Bryan legs, and then his next Elite from Elite 107, he had the Tiny Legs formula as well, and he just looks so damn tiny. If they give if my expectations are going from an Ultimate Edition with all the bells and whistles, Finn Balor with a nice formula, and, and then it actually turns out that we're getting a Demon Elite of WrestleMania 39 Finn Balor, and it's on that small formula, that would be that would be so atrocious, man. I, I just, oh God, dude. If that ends up being the reveal, I'm going to have to, oh God. it's it, <laughs> I'm going to be heavily disappointed. That's going to be awful. So hopefully that will not be the case here, man. Hopefully it'll be another Judgment Day Finn, and then we'll end up getting a Demon King Finn Balor Ultimate Edition, man. So I would be fine with one of his other Judgment Day attires, but it sucks because it's probably just going to be a repaint. It's Elite 107. You guys know I hate that John Cena shoe mold. I hate that figure's size and whatnot. It's a cool figure, but just the stiffness and the small legs, man. 
Oh, geez, that's going to be just tough. Tough to swallow there if that ends up being the case, man. So we'll have to see about that, of course. But Finn Balor is the next figure in the series. Let's just pray we get an Ultimate Edition Demon Finn Balor, and this ends up being another Judgment Day kind. And you guys know that Elite 110, we're getting Rhea Ripley. And Elite 109, we're getting Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio, I do believe. So I'd imagine it's going to be another Judgment Day Finn Balor. Hopefully, it's not the Demon, man. Just give, give me an Ultimate Demon, and then let this be just another Judgment Day Finn. It could be it could be Royal Rumble 2023, something like that. But God in heaven. Just Also, if it is a Judgment Day, Hey man, give me the faded tapered beard for the love of God. That's another thing that hopefully will take place. A brand new Finn Balor head sculpt. That's what it needs to be, man. Don't don't put the demon here in Elite 111. Next up, man, we have a first time in the line and one that actually kind of shocked me in the set. Elite 111, Tony D'Angelo. Very, very crazy release right here, man. Didn't expect it. Now, this is one of the things that makes me really believe that this is a true lineup. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but here in the last like six, seven waves, every single wave, they've been including one NXT talent. We do know know that in Elite 110, I do believe it is, we're getting pretty deadly, and so I could absolutely see them putting this in there, man. I could definitely see this being true. Now, did I expect this? Not not, not at all. I did not expect this whatsoever. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but it seems like the main Elite line has kind of sort of shifted because we're getting the Legends Greatest Hits, we're getting Legends Ultimate Editions, we're getting the regular Legends Waves, we have these store exclusives, we have these ringside exclusives. It kind of seems like they're kind of morphing the main Elite line into more current day talent. Now, of course, you are getting your Legends and whatnot in these waves, but it does seem like they're kind of, I don't know, at least to me, it seems like it's like one legend maybe per wave and then you're getting you know if they maybe it's a legend slash current day talent maybe they can mix a legend with a current talent if that legend comes back or something like that but it seems for the most part that most of the main line elites have kind of been shifting towards a more current roster focus and then the legends and all these different store exclusives are kind of shifting towards the you know the legends and the the talent that have uh, that are not currently on television so I don't know you can guys let me know about that but this figure should be cool and interesting I'm interested to know what attire it is is he going to have cloth goods I could see them doing a cool track suit or something like that which would re be really awesome hopefully the figure is just really poseable but I like it I'm, I'm down for this I don't have any quarrels with that whatsoever so Tony D'Angelo being the next figure in Elite Series 111. Moving on to the next figure man we have WWE Elite 111 Ricochet man we have Ricochet coming up right here now Ricochet is a guy that's no stranger to the elite line. He actually has quite a handful of elites now. When you look back at the catalog there, man, he had an elite 69 figure. He had the top talents ricochet. Elite 80 in the black and blue that one time. He had the United States Championship. He had the yellow gear in the network spotlight line. I think it was Elite 101 Ricochet in the flames and black gear, which was cool. Double jointed arm ricochet. So hopefully, first of all, hopefully this one doesn't have Johnny Gargano syndrome. That's the first thing. That's the first bit of news. But hopefully it's just a really cool gear. And he's a pretty toyetic guy. He's got the tattoos. He can flip and do all the different things. I thought the formula last time was pretty good outside of the Johnny Gargano syndrome, so I could see them doing some cool things here. There's a bunch of different gears it could be as well. I mean, I don't really care. I think the pink gear would be cool. There's so many different gears, really. He is, he, all of his attires are pretty damn cool. So they could really pick your poison here. I just, I'm glad we're getting another Ricochet. I like Ricochet's figures. It's been actually, this is, this will kind of make you want to vomit, to be honest with you. When you think of Elite Series 101, you're like, yeah, Elite Series 101 wasn't that long ago, but by the time Elite 111, gets there that's 10 series so I mean that's a that's a pretty good gap right there between ricochet elite figures so we'll have to see about that but yeah I'm down for another ricochet figure kind of uh not necessarily that he needed an update but I'm all for guys that are look really good in figure form so ricochet checks that box here in elite series 111 always happy for a ricochet figure and moving on man the next figure is actually going to be a legends figure man we have a legends figure but it's kind of a current day as well man we have Trish Stratus now there's definitely different gears that this could be here if I had to guess I would imagine that this Trish Stratus is going to be more of an updated Trish Stratus, right? I think that we're going to be getting some good stuff going on here with the Trish Stratus. It'll probably be from one of her 2023 gears. I think it was 2023. Maybe it was 2022, man. I think it was 2022 when she was, or maybe, was she in 2023? I can't remember off the top of the dome. I know for a fact that she has, hasn't has been gone that recently, though, right? She had the feud with Zoe Starks, and we had, like, her feud with Becky Lynch and some different things going on there. So we'll probably get some form of, of an updated Trish Stratus. She certainly needs it. Of course, we did just just get her in the WrestleMania 40 Elite Wave. We had her in the Hall of Fame Wave back in the day. She really doesn't have that many figures, man, to be honest with you. And it's kind of sickening because Trish, in her lore of WWE and her career, I mean, she is a legend. So uh, you would think that we would get some sort of Legends figure. I would love to see her in the Legends Wave, like with her broken nose or something like that. You could do a re-release of the Elite 24, I think it was, in the pink and black, which is probably her most iconic attire. So there's definitely a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, she had that god-awful Elite. What was it, like Elite 87 or something like that? It's an atrocious figure. Look, nothing like her. So she's one of those that 
that's kind of been she's kind of been missed, man. I think they've missed the boat on Trish Stratus a lot. So this is definitely a way to make up for that. Hopefully we get it would be cool to see a throwback figure. I'm not gonna hold my breath on that because she did just recently return. She did return for a short stint there, so I could see them absolutely giving us a Trish Stratus that's more modern and things like that. So that would be cool with me. I don't really mind it, but having a new Trish is desperately needed. So this is actually a good inclusion right here. This is a nice figure to have, and hopefully it makes up for all of her uh, figures that we've seen. Not that her WrestleMania 40 figure was just the worst of all time, but my God, it was pretty much a re-release of her Hall of Fame Elite, and there was really no differences whatsoever, and it was just a big miss, man. Big miss there, and a lot of people were uh, upset about that. So hopefully we, you know, this will be a, a nice Trish to add to the collection there. But let's finish up, man. This is the figure that I want to talk about the most, I think it was, and it's a figure that I've been wanting for Mattel for so damn long and it, it seems to be true because he did sign our Legends deal not too long ago I do believe man and we are talking about Sandman Sandman getting a WWE Elite the last figure in Elite 111 is going to be Sandman now dude when you want to talk about Sandman holy crap this is a figure I've been wanting so so long man it, just the, the idea or the fact of actually getting a Sandman figure would be ridiculous that is so crazy man imagine he'll have the barbed wire tattoo he'll have I, I just feel like they're probably going to go with his most iconic gear from WWE or just that return of WWE or ECW. This is definitely going to be a middle 2000s Sandman if I had to guess. A throwback Sandman, I mean obviously they're both throwback Sandman, but a 90s version of Sandman would be amazing, but I do believe that it is going to be that WWE style Sandman. It's going to be in the black Sandman shirt. He'll come with a kendo stick. He'll probably come with a can. Maybe he'll come with a dented can. That would be cool as well. He'll probably be making that signature facial expression. He won't come with a cigarette. He's not going to come with beer or nothing like like that. He'll come with a can. It'll be similar to the Monday Night War Stone Cold Steve Austin. He'll come with a kendo stick. He'll probably be in black pants. And dude, this is going to be a figure. I cannot wait for this figure, man. This is one of my just, this has been on my list for so long. But it was something that I've wanted for so long from Mattel and WWE Elite figure form. But it's one that I never thought we would see. So, you know, I haven't, it hasn't been on a lot of my wish list because I really just didn't think it was possible to see this. But now that we're finally getting this, man, I, I'm over the moon. This is amazing. I've been wanting Sam. If you guys remember, he was actually in the original MDT pick fed. He was way back in the day in the MDT pick fed. So he having an updated Sandman would be really Really awesome and maybe he maybe it's right on time for for a return man so Sandman would be incredible I can't wait I'm gonna be buying multiples gonna be making some customs things of that nature so having an official Sandman would be amazing I lost my custom way long ago man way long ago it was a pretty good custom I think the Jack's head sculpt did wonders for a very long time but having a Sandman in updated figure technology and all the bells and whistles I can't wait for this this is absolute money I just hope it's a good formula hopefully he's not you know hopefully they get the pants right hopefully you know he's not super jacked or something like that. Just, I hope they nail the formula. That's going to be the biggest thing. But I am over the moon for a Sandman figure, man. But let's dive into some other news that we have here, man. Elite 111 lineup. Cody Rhodes, Finn Balor, Tony D'Angelo, Ricochet, Sandman, and Trish Stratus. Let me know what you guys think of Elite 111 down in the comment section below. But also, we do have some basic figures here. We also have some championship showdowns here. But I also want to get into something else that was on discussion the other day, man. So if you guys were unaware, they were talking about WWE Ultimate Edition Series 21. We do know that it's Cody, Sammy, and KO. Well, apparently, I saw this on Twitter, I think it was, and it says that John Cena, Jay Uso, and Gunther are the next Ultimate Editions, and this is confusing. I don't know if you guys remember the news from, I don't know, it was a few months back, right? We talked about this news, and we talked about them potentially doing a John Cena that was supposed to be like Backlash. You guys remember that? It was like Walmart exclusive. It was like a Walmart listing that said Backlash on it or something like that, and remember we kind of broke it down, and we were talking about what I thought the attire would be. I think it would be like a Backlash 2007 John Cena. When this graphic here, it looks like it's going to be a more modern day John Cena from his not so long ago return. But I don't think that, is that even possible? Can they even do that turnaround? I guess they could because maybe it's not a throwback, but they're saying that that, that Walmart exclusive, like, I've, one is it, didn't it say like SummerSlam Jey Uso? And then it said like SummerSlam Gunther or something like that? Or Remember, we were kind of confused on the lore. We didn't know the exact situation or details of these figures. Well, apparently, you know, from this graphic that I'm seeing here, it's, it looks like it's going to be a more modern John Cena, Jey Uso, and Gunther and not, you know, a a Backlash 07 John Cena, which would actually disappoint me. It would be cool to see a John Cena, obviously, in that gear. That's a gear that I don't have yet in figure form for the Cena collection, and having a John Cena Ultimate Edition in the short shorts or the shorter short mold would be cool. However, man, a Backlash 07 I would much prefer over a more modern day John Cena, but that's just me. But I thought that was interesting. I wanted to touch on that real quick. But before we get out of here, man, let's get into these basics and championship showdown packs. I'm just going to go through here. I'm not going to go 
through the exact attires and whatnot. We'll have to find those out when the figures are revealed. But Cody Rhodes, Basic Series 4, 149 here. We have Cody Rhodes, we have Sheamus, we have Eddie Guerrero, we have The Miz, and we have Maxine Dupree. Very big here. I know a lot of people are going to want the Maxine. We do know we're getting Tiffany Stratton. We're, we're getting a lot of these women that we see on our television, so that'll be really good to see. And also, the basics are just so much more improved that I'm actually intrigued with basics now. So it actually, I, I get excited about basics now, which is kind of sickening, but... I'm excited for basics this year. Really excited for basics this year. I've already picked up quite a few. And so having more basics to, to buy at retail actually genuinely makes me excited. It's more money, but at least they're quality figures and you can do the head swaps and the surgeries and whatnot. So that is good. But that's a pretty solid wave right there. Excited to see what Eddie Guerrero looks like. Excited to see Maxine Dupree. See what gear we get for Cody and things like that. So we'll see about basic 149. And then Championship Showdown 18, man. Very unique right here. We have Kane and Mankind. Going to obviously be a throwback right there. I'm interested to see what attires those are and the head sculpts. Maybe we get some new head sculpts or something like that. We have Seth Rollins and Braun Breaker. Very unique battle pack right there. Very intrigued with that one. Hopefully that one will check some boxes, get some cool head sculpts. See what the attires are. That's also going to be a whole thing. You know, it depends on what gears it is. See what kind of deco shots you get. And then last but not least, we have Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio. Very cool. That will actually be one that I definitely grab. It'll probably be repeat head sculpts and stuff like that, but maybe not. You know, you never know. Maybe it'll be a repeat of their Elite 110 head sculpts, or it, obviously it would be. It'd probably be Elite 109 Dom and then Elite 110 Rhea Ripley head sculpts, but... I'm intrigued, man. I'm intrigued to see what these figures look like and all those different things, man. But I do believe that is all the news that we have, man. WWE Elite Series 111. We have Basic Series 149. We had some updates sort of on Ultimate Edition Series 22 and what that looks like potentially. I don't know if that's an accurate wave or if those are going to be store exclusive, but if it was Ultimate Edition Series 22 and it was Jey Uso, Gunther, and John Cena, I just hope that it is a flashback John Cena. I don't want to say a current day John Cena Ultimate Edition. That's just me, man. I want to see flashbacks. I want to get those armbands in here. I want to get some you know, some different things to piece together to make other classic John Cena gears, obviously, for the collection. So, I don't know. We'll see about that. It'll probably be a good figure nonetheless, obviously. It, it doesn't matter what John Cena's they release. Just some different lore there, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. That is going to wrap up the news. I would love to know all of your thoughts on all this stuff down in the comment section below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let me know man. what your reaction is to all this, man. What do you think of Sam, man, and Trish, and Tony D'Angelo, Finn Balor, Cody Rhodes, the Elite 111 stuff, man. Let me know all those things down below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. And a huge shout out also to our patron members, the MDT YouTube channel. Been going hot over there with some different results and stuff like that, man. Just epic stuff in the works, man. Cannot wait for it. You know, some things, some things you just have to wait on. It's coming, but you just, you just stay tuned, man. We're gonna do probably a new arena tour and stuff like that. Probably next week, not this week, because of the scheduling and stuff like that. But it's it's coming, man. Good things in the work there. But if you guys are interested in that, check out the link in the description below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.